Hello everybody, here's Toto from Run Film Sleep and I got back to Berlin, Germany after a job in Italy and this is all I brought with me. So I thought about making a video about essentials for camera assistants. I worked, uh, as I said before, as a camera trainee for three years and I recently moved up to second assistant camera. I'm gonna be here just for a month, so there was really no point in bringing more stuff. But I still think that in this body case you're gonna find stuff that you're gonna use 95% of the time on set. This video might be of interest for anyone starting out in the camera department because this stuff right here, it's all stuff that I already had when I was a camera trainee. You don't necessarily need it as a camera trainee, but you're gonna need it as a second assistant camera, so you might as well just start investing in those items as soon as you got some money saved and you're still a camera trainee. So uh, without further ado, let's dive into what's inside this 1510 Pelicase. Again, these are the essentials. I'm gonna be here for roughly a month. So that is really, um, I don't need more than this. Of course, having some more spare cases would be good. And also some more um, stuff for comfort, really, because that's uh, what it's all about, I think, after uh, some point. But these are essentials. So this is what it looks like, and I'm just gonna take everything out piece by piece. Uh, give a little description. Also, I'd love to say that there is already um, there are already some interesting videos about second assistant camera uh, tools and about the second assistant camera job. And there are some videos from Feed Riots, there are some videos from Flick, a very good YouTube channel. But um, I thought, you know, why not? Because there are a lot of different second ACs around the world, a lot of different methods. And I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion about stuff that I think uh, you really cannot work without as a second assistant camera. Slates. Uh, it's good to have a regular size one and a smaller one for insert shots. Insert shots are all those uh, shots, like the detail of, um, say, I don't know, a book or a detail of a hand or something, you know, which is very small. And, you know, if you don't have the space to get the regular size one, you're gonna need to have a smaller slate. There are even smaller slate than this one, and I'm soon gonna get one, but that's what I have for now, and that's what um, worked for now. Moving on to tools, the main ones, to build the camera and rebuild it several times. They're only keys. This is gonna be your friends. Um, so starting from the three, and three is probably one of the most common. Uh, you're gonna need one for sure. Then you got a, um, keep keeping on staying on metric. You got a four, a five, very common. A six, uh, it is way less common. And then very common, the five thirty two. Imperial. So these, I would say, are and also the fat screwdriver. These are the probably stuff that you're gonna need the most when building and rebuilding the camera uh, to change setups. Moving on, um, this screw, this uh, mix of Imperial and Metric. I use this uh, not often, uh, but they're small, so it's nice. I can carry around if I'm not. Uh, close to my set of keys. I just carry this um, because they're small and you know, uh, sometimes these are gonna be enough. Uh, this is just Imperial. Uh, brush, uh, this is gonna be very useful uh, when you are in dirty situations. Um, you know, when there's uh, mud or sand, it's gonna be very useful. And even if it's a windy day, you know, so there is a lot of dust going over the camera. Moving on, you got some uh, scissors. Well, I got this one, which are the one that electrician use, uh, but they're not great for Velcro. So they're actually these very small uh, scissors that lots of second bases have, and I need to get some 
uh, very soon, uh, but for now I only have these. So I would say get these and then the smaller ones, very, very sharp. I don't know their names, but uh, I can uh, find out and then just put a link somewhere. Then a cutter, uh, very useful, when, especially during prep, when you're just prepping patches and filter tags, a uh, cutter is gonna be useful. Then look at a torch, of course, you're gonna need light uh, quite often. Then you get a laser tape, uh, very useful. Uh, also get a rigid one, which is here. This is a very cheap one, but it is both metric and imperial. Just get one of these. Um, the laser tape is just more for like uh, focus pullers, really. You're just gonna need one of these. Um, well, permanent marker and a whiteboard marker. This is usually are gonna be expendables or consumables so productions are gonna buy them at the start of the project although sometimes uh, you can uh, it's not always the case you know for very small projects maybe there's no budget so you're gonna need to carry these items yourself because um, no one's gonna pay for them but um, yeah that's um, you're gonna need this too really uh, and maybe some this smaller as well like uh, this Permanent marker, uh, black and red would be enough, I think. But again, this is usually something that it's uh, both uh, by production and the start of the project. Moving on, I get a smaller set of screwdrivers. Uh, you know, just for anything very small, this is gonna be uh, enough. I don't have a lot of bigger screwdrivers, but I really recommend getting some. I would say three or four different sizes, so you are covered if you ever need them. And to carry this stuff around, was well, not all of them, but some of these tools, I use this. This is a chest pouch, um, Velcro chest pouch. It's very uh, fine, very useful. Uh, I've used this for the past three years and never let me down, really. Uh, there are also uh, one made by Dirty Rigger that maybe it's a little bit cheaper, but um, yeah, I think they're both great. Uh, I really liked the chest pouch, although in summer it can get a bit uncomfortable because you sweat a lot, so a belt uh, is better sometimes, uh, but it really depends, it's very personal sometimes. Uh, people use a mix of them. Uh, or I know people that started by using a chest pouch and then just moved on to using a belt. So really, uh, it really depends on you. You just have to just have to try it. I get my um, Leatherman here, my Wacom flat screwdriver here, and a bunch of other stuff inside. I always care. Uh, just one mark in my pouch, so if I need to quickly just mark an actor, I just, you know, get, get it from my pouch and just mark the actor. And then I reach for my uh, actor's marks bag, but, you know, something easier you can have on you. And inside I also have some uh, pens um, and, yeah, a whiteboard marker as well. Uh, some bongo ties, uh, some ties, very useful. Uh, moving on. I have some screws, uh, it's always good to have a bunch of them, these are imperial, so you're gonna need to get uh, imperial screws, uh, if you are in Europe, you're gonna have to look for it, um, it took me a while, um, because again, not, not in Germany, not even in Italy, everyone has imperial screws and keys. Moving on, I have some washers. Again, um, along with the uh, screws, uh, washers are going to be very useful to create some uh, volume, uh, especially with monitors and other stuff, uh, you're going to need washers. Then I have some grip, grip stuff. I don't have much stuff. I have very little compared to other system cameras, but that's uh, a few stuff, all the stuff I have, but that's all I brought. Uh, from Italy, I don't have much more, but that's what I think, uh, you know, it's gonna be useful in any kind of situation. 
this is like the bare minimum of like uh, grip stuff that I carry with me. So, you know, speed boot, a uh, couple of clamps, or maybe one clamp, uh, you know, just some uh, ultralight. Well, this is not ultralight, this is counter blue with the uh, relocating pin uh, for an arm, then a smaller arm for a small rig. Very useful in a lot of situations. This is Noga, then I have a uh, uh, Teradek bracket, uh, uh, quick release, whatever you want to call it, from small rig again. So yeah, it's not a lot, a lot of stuff, very cheap uh, pieces, but uh, very useful. Uh, bubble, nowadays you have bubbles on your phone, but uh, it's good to have one. Say for example, if, uh, the, the bubble from a fluid head is not working, so you need a replacement and you know you just put some velcro and you just stick it on the fluid head uh, that's what you can do uh, there are also other types of um, bubbles like smaller ones and round ones maybe that's better but that's what i have but um, someone gave it to me i think a second see uh, david a friend of mine gave it to me so that's all i have but it's always um it's always useful to have it almost forgot um so it's good to have some uh, tape. What I have here is color console tape, some black paper tape, and a couple of colors, uh, just cover tape. And I usually carry them on my chest pouch. Uh, tape as well is gonna be consumables, expendables, both by production. It's gonna be up to you um, how to carry it though. So instead of carrying the, old, the entire roll, uh, there are different methods. That's one method. So these are cores from uh, thin rolls, uh, uh, 35 millimeter and 16 millimeter uh, thin rolls. And yeah, then you just uh, take some tape and put it around here so you don't have to carry the entire roll. For safety, so there's gonna be a, a point where you're gonna have to secure the camera. Uh, maybe uh, it's uh, looking above on the actors. These small ones usually are used for uh, clamp-ons. So you have to secure the clamp-ons to the camera. While on the camera, you can usually use these rings. You, you have either 3 8 or 1 4 plus one of these straps with a carabiner simple carabiner and there's gonna be different ways uh, you can ask the uh, uh, first assistant camera or you can even ask out uh, to grips usually the idea is that you as a second assistant camera have the you know the the metal wires and ties and straps to secure the camera because the idea as a focus player once told me is that um, from the fluid head up, it's the camera department's responsibility. So really make sure that you're not dropping any uh, 10 kilo uh, camera on an actor. Some marks, some very, uh, I guess, cheap marks. I can't remember how much they cost. I bought them on Prisma, uh, this German website where they sell a lot of uh, um, cine equipment. But yeah, uh, that's all you need really. And also some sausage uh, markers, those are very useful. You can even make them. Uh, inside there is a metal bracket um, made for uh, construction or like for art furniture. I know, but like in your DIY uh, store, you can find them and then you just take them. You know, as I said in another video, make sure you're ready for bad weather. Be ready in terms of clothes, but also in terms of rain covers for the equipment. So here you got a velcro a cover. Usually there's gonna be velcro on the clamp on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna attach it all around the camera, just where the clamp on is. Then it's gonna fold from the clamp on from the mat box on. These are carpet, very useful. They sell them in two sizes, uh, the bigger size and the smaller size with a green uh, rubber set. I have uh, just a Decathlon, which is a sports store, uh, rain cover from 70 liters to 100 liters. 
you know just get a bunch of uh, solutions but just make sure that you have enough to cover the most important stuff so focus unit station for the focus puller uh, the camera of course and the mag liner make sure you have enough you're gonna need maybe to carry a rain bag with you with only uh, rain covers inside uh, and be ready another very interesting thing which i learned uh, not long ago is this some kitchen roll papers fold it inside a zip bag uh, you know instead of uh, carrying the entire roll as i said in the previous video you can just use a zip bag then we have transparent tape very very useful so for example sometimes the fox puller they make their own fox rings and then they cover the ring with this tape uh, as for production. Uh, very useful are also lens wraps. Uh, lens wraps uh, in a different sizes. Uh, they're very useful for any kind of uh, fragile equipment. Uh, so you can just uh, wrap it around and then put it inside the case. So try to have a bunch, uh, three or four uh, different sizes. This is quite big and it's 20 inch uh, by Temba and this uh, 16 inch uh, medium size um, both useful very useful this is just an empty uh, from max case uh, which is the cheaper version of uh, bed case uh, this is useful for anything from cables to screws a small case is always very useful what else we have a uh, police notebook uh, yeah pliers um, never really use them but i have them and uh, some more rain cover uh lee clear filter cloth uh, this is gonna be usually uh, consumables as well so it's gonna be bought by production if not uh this is like you know one of those clothes for uh, glasses so get one uh this is by lee filters and some clamps with tape around them. You might use clamps on camera clothes and sometimes camera clothes. Uh, camera covers are uh, fragile, uh, like the one from Harrison, so it's better to tape them so you don't scratch the clothes. Wrapping up this case, I have some personal walkie-talkie earphones here. You don't necessarily need them, it's just a, a comfort, an additional comfort I have. I have, I have some private BNCs and Lemo to DC power cable, my pieces in blue and some bongo ties and then I have some replacement for the razors for the uh, whiteboard marker. There's some Haribos, then some more carabiners, some more safety wires and then I have this uh, frog Carabiner usually used for the easy rig because uh, it's uh, faster. Uh, but that's it. Uh, last thing maybe would be uh, this little light. It's something which uh, honestly I only used once on the last movie, but it's usually very common, especially if you're shooting uh, nighttime, to have a small light with some. To have a small light with a clamp, uh, you, sh you can stick pretty much anywhere uh, on your case or on the mag liner. It's very useful to have a very, uh, it's like a reading lamp. All right, so this was an opening of my Pelly case uh, to show you guys what I have brought with me. I'm not counting on doing uh, big jobs, I just have a couple of short films lined up. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to go uh, barehanded without any personal equipment. This is the stuff that I think are going to be enough to cover me for pretty much any kind of a job. Um, I still have a pending interview with a second assistant camera friend of mine. Uh, it's going to come very soon because I'm going to be working with him in a month time. So uh, stay tuned and until then, um, I'll see you soon for some running, filming or sleeping content. Yo!